Hi there friends. Just want to throw out a little bit of video here. Let you guys know what everything's going fine over here and what I'm up to. I went up to Myers yesterday and uh, I found uh, a clearance on these little LED lights. These ones right here. And I decided to put them on the, on the scooter. And I made a couple brackets for the front. You can see those right there. And they're, they're red and blue, but I'm afraid I'll get pulled over by the cops for trying to impersonate a police officer. And uh, so what I'm doing is trying to uh, black out the blue and use the red. Where am I here? Oh, there we go. And use the red. So I'll use those for brake lights and turn signals. So I'll uh, close the garage door and see how they look in the dark. Yeah, I just do this to stay busy. It gives me something to do. I uh, would go nuts if I didn't have little odds and ends to do here. Let me hook you up on the stand here. There we go. Let me shut these lights off and check them out. We'll put on the left blinker. Now the right blinker. As soon as I can find the switch here in the dark. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Okay, now let me go back to set up the back part for the back brakes. Don't need to trip over anything. Now remember, I had uh, the black and blue on, on the back too, but I'm getting rid of the blue. One side's got the uh, blue kind of darkened out and the other one isn't but uh, we'll see how it looks once I uh, turn the lights out and get the lights working okay where's the button switch in the dark again where are you all right this will be the right one see the blue and red okay now this will be the left one you can still kind of see the blue. I have to cover it up a few more times. And here's the brake lights. Here's the emergency lights. And then here's the cop lights. And if you're wondering how I did that, I got one big flasher on here. And the big flasher is called Me. Me Company Flasher. No, I wasn't a flasher. Maybe back in the hippie days I was a flasher. No, <laughs> not even. But these are these are just this, this little push button lights, you know, that you do them manually and they got its own battery. Same thing over there. And I was just more or less doing them by myself. So what do you think? A for effort or uh, F for failure? Let me know. Oh yeah, and I had to reseal the sandblaster because I was getting sand all over. I don't know if you could see in there, but I had to reseal over there. Let me turn some lights on. Well, for the end of the day, I guess let's see for the update. I'm trying to make a bracket that you can take off and put on for that for that basket there. And then I'm going to, well, that's, that's another story what I'm going to do after that. But uh, I'll bring you up to date when I do it. And I just finished painting. <laughs> it's no big deal, but I just painted, uh, finished painting the bird feeder, bird bath. And I put the top on before I painted it. And yes, it is level now. And let's see, today was trash day. I took out the trash, no big deal. I only got four big bags. And let's see, what else did I do today? Oh, that's about it for today. So, that's what I'm up to, folks. As you know, I got too much time on my hands. That's why I kind of stay out here. And otherwise, I'd go stir crazy. Oh, another thing I'm working on here is a 
kind of a central vacuum system. It's an old Kenmore that I got working and I kind of made another top for it for the for the hose. I've got about uh, what did I do with the hose? I might be under the workbench. I got about uh, 20 foot of hose. I can vacuum the car out and whatnot. Uh, let me see. I turn on turn on the uh, plug it in and show you. Uh, my back's kind of bothering me lately. Lately, always. All right. So then, all you got to do here is just move the rock. There you go. That's what I've been up to. Now what else? Oh yeah, as you know, the cradle is finished. That's in the house. Just gotta put the final final coat on it. And working on this bird bath. I uh, had it for a lot of years. I thought I'd give it a paint job, and plus it was always kind of crooked. So I kind of leveled it out with some uh, concrete leveler there and there, just so it would set level. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm up to. I'm going to go in the house now and download this. Oh, and on that sandblaster, something's wrong with the light now. I got to replace the bulb or uh, replace the whole unit. But other than that, uh, it's going to hold sand. So like I said, folks, you have a good one today, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.